Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. Welcome to Not Perfect Zen and days 21 and 22 of Inktober 2022. Um, with all of these videos, I'm using a Micron 01, a graphite pencil, a blending stump, and sometimes an eraser. I'm drawing these on two by two inch tiles that I cut, and there is a link in the description if you want to know how I colored them. And um, let's move this out of the way and get started. I'm pretty excited that I'm in the 20s for these videos, so 20 and, I'm sorry, 21 and 22. And here's my journal. Zoom in a little bit. So day 21 is Bees by Midori Furuhashi. And then day 22 is Tile Wave by Yuru Chen. Now I have to admit that it took me a while to get this pattern to where I could do something that I liked. So uh, this is the basic pattern, and then this was the final way that I ended up doing it. So let me show you. I did my own little step outs just to try to get it into my mind how I wanted this to look. Um, well, let me show you. I don't know if I can keep that next to it. I'll zoom out just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So it starts with a triangle. Okay. And then from the top of this triangle, Going to the right, we're going to extend it a little bit, and then we're going to do the same thing here, and the same thing here. And you can start with it kind of short, but I have found that um, I like it to be a little bit longer. And then we're going to do, just like we're putting the letter B. Okay, and then this should be a little bit longer. Okay, turn it, do another B, turn it, and do another B. Okay, so that was through step three. Gets us to here. And then she extends these lines a little bit, but I just made mine longer to begin with. So this next step is from these extended lines, she kind of does a little bit of a dip and then the B again, turn it. She does a little bit of a dip does a B again and turn it and again that B that goes from this tip to the second hump on that B. Okay. And now we're going to go to the top of this B. And this is where I differ in the way that I do it, but I'm going to show you the way her step out looks. I'm sorry about my camera moving. Okay, so she does kind of a dip up and then the B again and then turn, do kind of that little bit up 
another B, and then up again, and another B. Okay. And then the way she ends it is with some orbs inside the triangle. So the difference is that I didn't like these little points here. And I couldn't figure out for sure how she was doing that last step. And sometimes it was coming up with those points again. And I'm just doing this kind of random because, like I said, I wasn't sure what to do. And then it ended up kind of an odd shape. Okay, kind of something like that. And then you can just go on adding as many as you like. Uh, for some of her things, this was all that she did was several of these in a border. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you on this tile the way that I decided I liked it the most. So I'm going to start with that triangle in the center, somewhat center of your tile. And then let's extend that out a little bit. And I think I'm extending it about the same as the, the width on these. Okay, pay attention so I get this right. Okay, so now I'm going to put that B and I'm going to leave an extension there. Turn it. It's definitely easier for me to keep turning my tile. And you're starting at the top of that triangle. And make a B that comes down like so. Then we go to that line. And I'm going to do another B that comes to the top of that one. Do the same thing on each side. And I ended up with a little bit of a point there and that's okay. All right, now from the top of this B, we're going to do another B that comes down to that point. And I'm not putting those little tips on there. That's really the main difference here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the orbs in the center. Just so you see what the main part of this would look like. Okay. And then what I did was I took, this was just like this one. And then I just added some bigger bees that went not from these first points that we had shown, but a little bit wider. So let me show you that. So I'm just going to go, if I were doing it like I did on these first steps, okay, I would be going from the top of one B to the next, but I'm going to go a little bit wider. Hopefully this will make sense. Okay. And then I'm going to go from that B. And I'm not trying for anything specific. 
make that a little bit wider. Still using that B shape, but it's just bigger because it's the outside edge. Okay. And you could go on and put another one on top of that. I haven't gone out that much further, but let's just do it. So again, I'm making it just a little bit wider. And I'm starting just at the tip of one of those that was already there. And my goal at this point is just to fill this two inch tile a little bit better. Well, like I said, I had to practice this several times until I found a way that I liked it. Okay, so there's my version of bees which is a little bit different from that. And the way that I'm going to do the shading is just a little bit on the outer edge of each of these V's to show that uh, this is in layers. I've learned a lot by doing these patterns. When you have one that you really struggle with, you can uh, Sorry, just do a tangulation of it. Make it something that you do like. And there weren't many um, examples from other people who had done this pattern because it's not just new to me. It's new to a lot of people. I was kind of excited because it's the letter B, which is the first initial of my name. And then the second pattern for today, number 21, or 22 rather, starts out with almost like an L, so B and L. But uh, that one, <laughs> I'm not sure about it either, but it's okay. I still have fun with it. All right, so now I'm just going to soften all this graphite that I have. And I think the shading definitely adds to this, makes it look better. You know, I put this, these marks and then I forget to stay inside of them. So I'm sorry if this ever goes off the screen. Okay, so that is Bees by Midori Furuhashi. And I'm not sure if she's a CZT or not. I don't have it written in my book. Okay, so let's look at day 22, and that's Tile Wave by Yuru Chin. And I tried doing it over here to see if I could make it kind of like a fragment and it didn't come out very well. But um, it's a very pretty 
pattern. And I'll just show you quickly on this one that it starts. You don't have to put the lines, but it helped me to have that. And this is why I said it looked kind of like the letter L. She starts with a curve here at the top that comes down. And the way that she does it is she put several of these. And the only problem I had was trying to figure out how to space them. So just a spiral at the top, a little bit of curve, and then it comes down. And then you're going to do this same shape, but we're going to come up. And when you get here, you're going to come back around and do that spiral again. Okay, so we're going to do that in each spot. Do that spiral again. All right, and then she does several times of coming off of that curve. I'm going to take off and land at the top of that curve. So let's do that. Let's take off from here, come around, and land there. Come off the top. Come down, land on that one, and we'll just make a curve that comes around and lands here, sort of like that. Okay, and then the next thing is you come off of this curve. Again, you're going to take off. We're auraing that. Come around and land on that one. And this is where it kind of looks like an L to me. All right, come off, do your curve, come back around and under. Okay, and then off this top, we're going to curve, come off of that, land there, take off and land, take off and land, take off and land. And then from the center, she just does a little bit of a line with the dot. All right, so that's the basic pattern. And like I said, I tried doing something a little bit different with it. Um, I found someone who had done these stripes and I kind of liked how that looked. And let's see if we can do that on our tile. And I think I'm just going to do a couple that go across here. This is one that I think is probably better if it's um, done on a larger tile. Sorry, I decided I should have put that up a little bit higher. And I'm guessing I'll have room to maybe put like three in here. Just kind of give myself an idea 
of where I want to put them. Okay, so now we're going to start with that spiral comes up around. We're going to do that three times. And then I'll figure out what to do on this side. Okay, next steps, we go to the bottom. Do that spiral. Or the line and a little bit of a spiral there. It's a little bit of a curvy line that's meant to match that one. And then there. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is come off the top of that, come down and land there. Do that on each side. Do that there. Now we're going to do the aura. We're going to take off from here, make the point, curve, and meet there. And again, this one, for me, takes some practice to make it look good. That I'm not trying for for perfection. And then we're going to come off the top of this one. Meet up there. Okay. And then we have our line and a dot. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the line over here to end that one and make it match. And then I'm going to put the auras in here. I liked how that one looked. I'll look forward to seeing what other people have done with this. I try to do these uh, several days ahead of time. So with something that's new, it's sometimes hard for me to find examples. All right, I'm going to do the shading now. And then I'm going to add some graphite along this part. And add some, a little bit down this center line. And then on these, just a little bit of graphite. I want to leave the center part open right in here. I want that to stay bright, not shaded. Okay. Now I'm going to soften all of these.
Okay. If you wanted to now, you can go back and erase where you can see those lines. And this is a kneaded eraser, and I can make it as thick or as thin as I need to. All right. So there we have B's and L's. <laughs> BL. This is tile wave. Let's add it. Show you the book again. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> and we get to add twenty one and twenty two on here. That means I have nine to go. That's awesome. All right. Thanks again for joining me. I hope that you're enjoying this. And uh, I'm really looking forward to being able to move these around and see what kind of uh, image I can come up with. Mosaic. All right. Thanks again. I will see you tomorrow. Well, actually in two days for days 23 and 24. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.